Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of D1 and F D DM15, I, I, honestly, the name just continues to confuse me, there we go, D15, D1, D DM15, fucking hell, uh, welcome back, episode 3, um, this is post loot update, so things have changed a bit, now, I made a video, I, I made a live stream yesterday, I was testing out the new changes, the loot changes, and the, the boss changes, so it's a lot easier to do bosses and everything now, um, So what we've got right now is uh, you can you can there's a higher chance of looting good shit basically. Uh, I still think it needs to be improved. I'm tempted to message me with a whole bunch of suggestions because it's not it doesn't have that wondrous feeling of Dead Frontier One which we all crave. So what we're gonna do we're just gonna take any old missions. I haven't actually been to the trainer, but apparently he's changed. Where's the trainer? There is. Hand in missions. There you go. You do not have any complete missions. So. We're going to grab a whole bunch of missions. Haberbrook. Okay, I mean, I'm level 6. Probably could do it. Gustavo Hall. Almadel. Okay, and have I got the Ivanov? Yeah. I might want to get a better pistol at this point. Speed 6. Is that better? I don't even know. Oh, it uses 9mm. It's gross. Right, that's where my money's gonna go. I just wish that the, uh, I just wish that the, the 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 weapon loot would be more more worth a damn. And if anything, that value's gonna go down now because of the fact that recently the uh, the changes have happened. So now it's a lot more common to find weapons and things at high levels. So level thirty weapons are gonna go down. Which again, that really sucks. I think the ultimate solution would be just. Oh my god, why is it so far away? I think the ultimate solution would be to try and uh, get the. What's it called? I think the big boy solution would be to first off increase the scrap value of, uh, of weapons. Because. They're too low. I mean, uh, the thing is, right, I don't want to make the economy just like Death Frontier 1, because at the end of the day, it's clearly a lower economy. It, it, you, know, you don't get as much ammo in this game as you would in Dead Frontier 1. Uh, money, sorry, which is fine. I'm fine with that. I just wish it was a bit more... I wish it was just a tiny bit more plentiful. Like, I've got a lot of money, but there's no money sinks, you know? In Death Frontier 1, there is always a money sink. And a lot of this, I suppose, comes down to the fact that, obviously, Death Frontier 1 has microtransactions that actually impact the game. Nice. Now that is satisfying. But yeah, that's the problem. Death Frontier 1 has microtransactions that uh, pretty much pretty much justify um, the prices for items and uh, basically just set them, you know? The hair splitter, for example, was 20 million uh, in-game dollars, I believe because it was a thousand credits when it first came out, but now it's like 25 mil because of uh, inflation, obviously, because people want to make a buck now that it's a limited, a limited item. Which uh, kind of sucks that you can't really get that same sort of effect in Death Frontier 1, in 2, sorry. Like I say, I'm not advocating for... I'm not advocating for goddamn... Uh, what do you call it? I'm not advocating for... Uh, game affecting my transactions. I don't really want that. The only one I'm actually okay with is like a membership that gives you a bit of an experience boost, but that's really it. I don't want any more than that. Um, but it's a genuine point of, of discussion for me because it's not as exciting as Death Frontier 1, you know? And it's not even just because you don't see the, uh, it's not even just because you don't see the item icon or anything, it's just not as exciting because Everything is indicated, or sorry, everything is justified by the stats. If you've got shit stats on what you just looted, it might be the best goddamn weapon in the game, but if it's shit stats, you're not going to get anything for it. And that really sucks. Because at least in Death Runs 1, the scrap values for the high level weapons are, you know, pretty decent. Like 30, 40k. The scrap value for the Ronin Pro is literally $70 in this game. What's the point in that? That's nothing. And that's kind of what I'm getting at. 
the safest way, like I say, of just making them worth a bit more is to have it so that obviously you just increase the scrap values. That would be the the, the best way to you know safely increase it. But at the same time, it, it you know it begs the question of whether that would make money less important. Because right now, money sink is mainly in uh, ammo and meds. But you would expect in a zombie apocalypse that uh, you know weapons would be rarer. I had a discussion with Adam Alston yesterday about all this, and we sort of came to the conclusion that what would be a, a decent way of doing it would be to keep the bosses very rare. You know, make them so they're on the street rarely, and perhaps have them, you know, sometimes be in buildings. Um, and that way it would it would increase the the value of weapons because they wouldn't be as easy to loot and make it so you know looting weapons is not as easy because I, that is the problem right yesterday when i streamed i went into so many locked doors and i got a load of different weapons don't get me wrong the stats were shit on them but i got loads of different weapons and that's kind of what i'm getting at it's so easy right now to go and get a bunch of different weapons i might honestly just throw a suggestions video together at some point because I want to see this game actually you know get better and grow but the loot is probably my next to prestige my biggest issue right now it really pisses me off that the loot is just so so boring there's never any like shine or wit or like excitement to doing it and it's rare you get anything really worth it and that's the issue Made that bloody <laughs> that glare, what the hell? This isn't to undermine the update because the update that just came out is genuinely really good and it makes a lot more sense. It makes bossing really easy. But it makes it too easy in a way because of the fact that the loot is just this, it's just these these stronger weapons. Things need to be rarer, that's the point I'm trying to make here. But not rarer in a sense that, well, not even not even just rarer. Just make them more valuable somehow. And again, the credits in DF1 is a great way of doing it because, you know, it, it depends on how much it costs credit-wise. The limited items, and that's when people sell them for whatever stuff like the gore tooth, which I don't think was a limited item. Uh, you know, that's a genuine weapon you can just find in the in in the outside world, and that's that's a clear distinguish there. There's a clear distinguishable, distinguishable thing about that is the fact that obviously that, I believe, was not a limited weapon, so you can just loot it anywhere, you know, and then sell it on for really cheap, and that's why it's so cheap. I've got one on my own, that character. I bought it for like 100k in Fort Pasta, which you can probably get even cheaper in Secrum. You know, it's really cheap. They haven't found any runners or vomitors yet. I set up an event recently for the uh, for the clan, the Project Wolves clan. If you want to join, link in the description. Make an application. We're always looking for more members. Uh, the the oh god, I thought you had no hair. The, uh, the 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 mission this week, which I've set up, is basically to kill a bunch of bosses, um, which is always fun. And there's a moth flying in my room. So yeah, the mission for this week is to kill a bunch of bosses um, and basically uh, just take pictures of the loop and. Uh, you'll get a reward at the end of it. That's the, that's the very simple way of putting it. It's based on like what level you are. I really enjoy doing these 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 events because it's something I never really had in a clan. And it makes DF2 actually a lot more fun. I mean, I, I set them up. I don't tend to actually do them. Uh, I think I did it once. Um, it's quite fun to set them up. Though. I might use that. But um, I quite enjoy setting these, these clan events up because, it, like I said, it does make it a little bit more interesting. Um... So if you're looking to spice up your DF2 life a bit more, then uh, feel free to pop along and make an application if you're interested. Because uh, I, I'm always giving an eye out for applications. Adam just joined recently as well, which is cool. I've leveled up apparently. Cool. Uh, I'll leave for now.
Bloody aim god here, Jesus. But no, the key, the key system is a lot more interesting now, and it just makes the game a lot more better. Like, I'm not going to say it doesn't. I just think the bosses now need to be rarer. If they were made to be, to be exclusively on the map. Like, I don't want this game to just be DF1, but DF1 had a very simple system that just worked. You know, bosses would update every, like, hour, and they just appear at random places on the map. Simple, you know? Very simple, and it restricts people from just grinding bosses all the goddamn time. Restricts people grinding all the bosses, makes weapons rarer, increase the scrap value, make bosses rarer, and that that's a good start to increasing uh, increasing the value of, of certain loot. Because, again, it makes no sense for the medical items to be so goddamn expensive and then weapons to be so cheap. You know, And again, I think it does come down mainly to the scrap values for the weapons, because they're not worth shit. I wouldn't complain that much if you couldn't, you know, get things like 100 goddamn K. Like, my, my looter character almost has 100 K. Adam's got, like, what, 900 K. I think he donated 70 K to the vault, so that doesn't really count, but... It's not like it's hard to make money in DF2. That's my problem. It really is not that hard. You're going to make more money by just not taking every single weapon that you get. And that's a fact, unfortunately. How the hell am I missing from these shots? I, oh my god. Is there even a loot in here? Okay, no there isn't. Brilliant. I swear I've only found like tin soup and diet soda for the last like two minutes. Pissing me off. Holy shit, man. I want to find just a door. <laughs> That's all I want. I'm done searching for the rusty key at this point. I don't care. I'm just I'm just going to try and find a, a gold key door. Right, what are we going to get? What are we going to get? Anything of worth? Probably not. A beanie hat. All of that for a bloody beanie hat. Honestly. I'm not even going to get the rusty key. I'm just going to go. Okay, I'm just going to go. Alright, so let's see how this works. And in missions. Oh, cool. You said the only one mission is over rewards of that. Nice. Brilliant. Great. Right. I'm going to end this, the uh, almost the stream. I'm going to end the video here. Um, hopefully, let me know what you guys think of what I was talking about with the loot because it does it does generally bother me. And I might make a video on it, uh, like on its own, just talking about it. But um, if you think it's a good idea, let me know. But uh, I appreciate everyone watching the video. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good one, guys. Jesus, that was a fucking that was that was a long mission. God Almighty.